All right, hey everybody. I am hoping that you're all doing great. A very, very amazing morning. Uh, you know, wherein now we are looking at less than 90 days uh, for CAT. So welcome all of you to the 100 Days to CAT series. In the fifth part, we are talking about one very, very important aspect, which is called average speed. In the last many, many years, we've seen a lot of questions from this topic and hence forms a very, very important aspect of time, speed, distance. Average speed, which is given as total distance upon total time, has a few scenarios which are very, very important from a CAT standpoint. And that is something which we are going to talk about today. So let's begin our discussion for today and see which cases we are going to talk about today. Let's start with the first case, talking about the first case today, which is called the distance is equal to constant situation. Now, what is the situation in this situation? Let's say, for example, A to B. Let's say a person goes from A to B at a certain speed and comes back from B to A at a certain speed. Okay. Let's say goes from A to B at a speed of X and comes from B to A at a speed of Y. Now, if you have a look, here in this situation, distance is a constant because A to B, when he goes, he, he travels a certain distance and he comes from B to A, travels the same distance. Hence, the distance is a constant. Whenever distance is a constant, then the average speed is given as harmonic mean of the two speeds. So here, the average speed will become 2 upon 1 by X plus 1 by Y. To take very simple example, if let's say X is equal to 60, and y is equal to 40. In that case, the average speed is not 60 plus 40 by 2, but the average speed is 2 upon 1 by 40 plus 1 by 60. And if you solve it, you will get 48 kilometers per hour. I'm hoping that this is clear to everybody. Now, if that part is clear, can you all tell me in a situation like this, what will happen? Let's say somebody goes from A to B, somebody goes from B to C and goes from C to D. Let's say the distance here is 10 kilometers, 10 kilometers, 10 kilometers. And let's say he goes from A to B at 20 meter per second, from B to C at 10 meter per second, and C to D at 5 meter per second. First question, what is the average speed? And second question, will the, dis will the distance impact the average speed in this case? Do you think here 10 is important? Or, you know, even if it were... 20 or 30, the answer would remain the same. Do let me know in the chat, right? So that's the first case, which is when distance is equal to constant. Let's have a look at the next case when the second parameter, which is time is a constant, right? So what happens when time is a constant? Let me give you another example. Let's say somebody goes from A to B and from B to C. Let's say they take a certain amount of T time here and they take the same time to move from B to C. So the time here is a constant. In this case, if let's say the speed from A to B is X and the speed from you know B to C is Y, then in that case, your average speed will become X plus Y by two. In this case, when T is a constant, you will take ar arithmetic mean. When D is a constant, you will take harmonic mean, right? I'm hoping that this is clear to you. And all of this can be derived from total distance upon total time. Okay. If you are able to derive this or not, do let me know that also in the chat. Okay. Perfect. I'm hoping that this part is also clear to you. Moving ahead to the last part, which is when speed is a constant. What will be the average speed when speed is a constant? Kafi mazakia sawal hai. Agar speed hi constant hai, to average speed will be equal to that same speed which is S. So if speed is a constant, average speed is the same speed. I'm hoping that you will understand it. It will be fun. I will be doing it with such fun. I will be doing it And I'll keep helping all of you. Keep, take care of your health. God bless you all. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.